Good morning everybody, I'm Nathan, I'm a landscape photographer from Brisbane. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm doing something a little bit different to normal. I'm actually in the city, I haven't gone out to the country. I'm shooting sunrise from the Kangaroo Point Cliffs here in Brisbane, looking, at, looking towards the city. So the sun rises up behind me, so I'm hoping to get some nice morning light reflecting off the buildings. And I did have to rush a little bit there because the sky is already lightening quite a bit out there to the east. But it's looking to be a pretty nice morning. So I've brought two cameras with me this morning. I've got my Fujifilm Panoramic 617 camera. And I also brought my Hasselblad 503 with me this morning. So only the two film cameras. But we'll just see how we go. I've already grabbed one composition. Hopefully it's going to get better as there's a little bit of cloud sort of that's going to come across behind the city in a minute. There's another composition I might have a look at over here just quickly though. The tricky thing with this camera is you need to have it really super level otherwise because of the longer negative it's really noticeable. But I've just framed up another one. I don't think I like it quite as much, but I'm going to grab it because it's got some cool construction in the background. I'm going to grab a couple of meter readings off some of the different reflections because I'm shooting Fuji Chrome Velvia 50, so not negative film. And I've just got to make sure I get my exposure right with the highlights or I'll, or I'll, or I'll lose them. So between the brightest and the darkest, I've got about a two stop difference. So if I shoot for the highlights, so I might shoot right in the middle and shoot at f22 at 15 seconds. And that should give me, hopefully should give me a pretty good exposure. So the sky is getting light very, very quickly, obviously. It is summer with sunrise, so this exposure will probably change. So I think 15 is good even for the darker bits. There we go. So that's two shots done with the panoramic camera. So I might put the Hasselblad on and have a look. I do have black and white film in the Hasselblad, which I'm not sure how I feel about for sunrise, but let's have a look. So I found a composition I really quite like. So I'm going to do four seconds at f11. I've got Fujifilm at cross 100. It's expired. But I'm going to do four seconds at f11 and see how we go. It's a fairly forgiving film using um, a black and white negative and I've got a nice tight composition over there so it should look pretty cool. Might swing back over here where there's this other building and the construction and just see if I can get anything nice here too. So this is a bit harder, it's a bit of a tighter composition. But oh, that can work. So I'm basically just framing the construction in the middle of the, of the composition with two tall buildings on either side.
So you know, F11, two seconds, that should get me a pretty nice exposure. Starting to get a bit of cloud come behind the city. It's not catching any colour at the moment, but we'll see what happens as that sun comes up. The sun's probably about six minutes from rising, so hopefully some of this cloud might start to light up shortly and I might get some nice interesting cloud colour. So I've just framed up another composition, looking in the similar direction to my first one, but just with uh, more of the water and hopefully some of the little jetties down there. So I'm going to go F11 and four seconds. Four seconds to try and get a bit more of the shadow detail in the trees down there. Now the sky is starting to lighten up a little bit. I wonder if it might be time to put the Fuji back on and just wait and see. So I've just put the Fuji back on and framed up that original composition about a minute from sunrise. So I've got the Fuji Chrome Velvia in. Don't think I'm gonna get any really nice color, but the whole scene is looking fairly nice and soft at the moment. So the trouble I'm gonna have now with slide film, I've only got one shot left anyway, is there's a nice big patch of light on one of the buildings or is everything still a little bit darker just because it's coming straight from these between these buildings over here but it is a nice scene it's nice and cool but I think I might have a bit of a look and maybe grab this would be my last frame with the Velvia so I'm currently getting a nice even meter reading of f22 and one second so I'm going to grab this now so I set uh, F22, one second, Fujichrome Velvia 50. Hopefully that should give us a nice exposure. So that is that roll of Velvia finished. So I might just hold off loading another roll for a minute or two and just see what's gonna happen with these clouds and this sky. So I might pack up and head for a bit of a wander down towards the river and just see what I can find down there. I've got one roll of, one shot left on this and I might find something a bit more interesting down sort of towards the river walk a bit.
So I've just framed up, set up the camera and metered for my final exposure on the black and white film. It's a nice tight one of some of the buildings in the city just from a lot lower down here near the river. So I'm going to do f11 and 8 seconds. So I'm using a 8 stop ND filter because I really want to try and get some nice smoothed out water. That should just make it look nice and uh, a little bit more serene and there's not too much going to be moving over the other side there. So I'm just going to do this now. 8 seconds at f11 and this will be the last exposure on the black and white. Okay, well that's that one done. So it's a pretty nice spot just down here by the river. I'm just sitting on this little rocky outcropping can sort of look over towards the botanic gardens or back towards the river walk. It's a nice peaceful little spot here. But now that I've finished this film, I don't actually think I'll load up any more colour film at all in either of the cameras because it's beautiful out here, but the light is just, it's just a bit flat. There's nothing of interest. You've got nice, nice morning light, but there's just no really there's no mist, there's no cloud, there's just nothing to add in the atmosphere. So it's all just a bit bland. But I have had a really nice morning out here. Second sunrise for 2022. Third, sorry. It's, uh, it's good. I'll leave it there, I think. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do like my channel, I really would appreciate it if you could like my video and subscribe. That really does help my channel. And I really can't wait to see you again soon.